That particular vaccine is still being studied. Uh, WHO does not have the full complement of data and information to enable it to, you know, to endorse it or recommend it for use. Countries like Ghana and Kenya had adopted the RTSS malaria vaccine, which the WHO has endorsed as efficacious. However, Nigeria adopted the R21 vaccine, which is different from the RTSS. Health experts have expressed their concerns about that move. It was a bit speedy on the part of NASA to uh, go ahead and approve the vaccine uh, without uh, the necessary due diligence of priority. And uh, also to wait for collaborative uh, uh, data from the WHO experts and other countries who are actually studying this. NAFDAQ has now said it will begin its own clinical trial of the R21 vaccine in the next couple of weeks. Speaking on the local television show, the head of the agency says it decided not to go for the RTSS vaccine because it has concerns over its effectiveness. Part of what she said reads, NAFDAQ tested the second vaccine, RTSS, and was not found effective enough. Nigeria is part of this one, that is R21, who gave provisional approval after a very rigorous approval process, end of quote. She added that despite the provisional approval for the R21 vaccine, it would not be administered until it undergoes all the required tests in the country. Experts say the whole situation should have been better handled. The first tranche of the vaccine is expected to be arrive Nigeria by uh, the mid of next year. I think sometime in June, July of next year. So it's important that people know and people are willing to take the vaccine. So whatever we know probably that would, could be uh, associated with vaccine hesitancy, we need to address them by nipping in the board. And that can only be done through effective health education. Ongoing trials of the R21 malaria vaccine has shown it to have efficacy of between 70 to 80 percent at 12 months following the fourth dose. Data from an ongoing phase three clinical trial in Burkina Faso, Kenya, Mali and Tanzania are due to be published in the coming months. So guys, I did a video on the same malaria vaccine only when Nana Akofa of, of Ghana approved it. And I said in the inset video that um, this is a mistake because number one, they test this vaccine in six African countries. And then, uh, and, and that is my problem. Why are you testing these vaccines in Africa? You don't you have tests, you can run in labs. This, this was done in the University of Oxford in um, the Jenner Institute in, in, the, in the UK. And the person who run the board, and, the, and he's the same person who, the director of said company, Gen, the Jenner Institute, is the same person that's um, designed the, 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 the vaccine. And then, boom, they ship it up directly to Africa. Nana Akofa, he's a president. If you want to approve something like this, you need to get um, results, and they need to show you proof of the success rate of this drug. Especially when they come on to giving it to kids, guys, between the ages of two months old to three years old, I think this vaccine was designed for, for babies. So you have to be extra delicate with these things because you have to get results, proof, high result to approve this in your country. And Nana Akufa has been doing a few things I don't like recently. Number one, he, he backtracked on um, the, the gay right bill when Pamela Harris visited. He said, oh no, we don't do this on it. His own... His own party hit out against him and said, yo, you're talking super nice. it's, it's it's still strong and going. And then he come with approve, he approved this this drug when he shouldn't have. He should have asked for um for um for um proof of uh, of, of of use before you approve something like this in your country. And he did something else recently that I didn't do like oh, he went against he bashed South Africa for being neutral in the war against Ukraine and then Nana Akufa signed, sided, sided with America and the Ukraine war and going against Russia. So he's doing a few things I don't like these days because he's, I think he's tiptoeing and I don't like it because it need to be more a with African countries than going against him and he's sticking with the US because they give you a few, few dollars here and there. Anyway, back to this. So here it is, the Nigerian World Health, um, Health Organization, let me just say that. It's saying the Mali, Malaria drug is no good. It's no good. They don't have, it haven't been tested properly. And they're giving this to kids, babies. 
And now they are working on their own vaccine and they have and even the Nigerian malaria drug is way more success have way more successful rates, as I said in the video. Using it locally. So how is it they can do this? What the Ghana government didn't didn't have a meeting or have a conversation with the Nigerian health organization. Why are you gonna listen to the UK? But I think I know why because Nana Akofa studied in the UK. He have that's where he lived for a while. So maybe that's why he have a soft heart for them. But again, I tell you, he he's acting weird these past couple of months. Nana Akofa of Ghana. I'm starting to not trust him as how I used to. And then and this is what I like the Nigerian health organization. So no, the WHO World Health Organization of in the EU or wherever they are, wherever they at. They know this drug should not be approved, but yet they approve it anyway. You see, I'm telling you, these people are, they don't care about black people, they are about the African continent, they want to kill people off. Cause they, I'm telling you, this is where they go to test all their vaccines and all their... Uh, remember when Ebola broke out a couple of years back, and two American doctors catch Ebola in, 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 um, in Africa, and they flew them back to the States, and within a week, they were cured and get a vaccine. So why is it this said vaccine that, was, that cured these two American doctors, white American doctors, why why did not they that distribute it to the to the to the Africans them and then help them to instead of making them die and then talking about there is no vaccine but yet they can find it for for two of your people but the rest of Africa they need to die so I think this is what they do and I've seen documentaries on this as well the Red Cross they will go into rural areas I'm talking rural I'm talking about Days after beaten pass in the 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 desert in the jungle and find these rural areas and then test all their their shit on these people because there's no one there to defend them and help them. And this is what they they've been doing for years because they did this in the army to the Tus Tuskegee Airmen if you remember when they gave them syphilis and then see how long it can up. And then they didn't cure them or didn't tell them and then they wanna see how long every month the, what, how it affects them and this is what they're still going on in, in places they won't say it but it's going on still so anyway yeah I, I big ups to the nigerian health organization for speaking of on this and i hope nana akufa of ghana put a stop into this um use of this um malaria vaccine because it's kids you're talking about babies here and get and go and work with the nigerian health organization instead and uh, but I'm telling you, it's very disappointed. This is so, this is highly and very disappointed in Nan uh, Akufa approving this vaccine, not knowing nothing about it. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching. I don't know. It's a WXXM podcast. I don't know it is. Tell a friend, tell a friend to tell a friend. Like, share, and subscribe. So, I don't know. Peace. One love. Boom.